Hello everyone, in this video I'm gonna be answering a few frequently asked questions about crafting and gathering. One of which is if this will be the last gear for crafters and gatherers that we got in patch 4.3. In my opinion, yes it is last. I know that Yoshi P have said this expansion might have one or two extra patches. But I don't think there will be a fourth rate savage rate patch. Therefore, there won't be a fourth tier of craftable battle gear. We've never seen five star recipes. I don't think there will be this time either. Because it doesn't make sense on the timing for the fan fests. The fan fests are. It's going as the same time cycle as before. So I don't think the extra patches that we're gonna get will be a big deal. So I think, yeah, this will be the last crafter set that we get for Stormblood. Some people have different opinions, of course, so be sure to share yours in the comment section. I've been also asked if I'm gonna post the melts for the new gear. Yes, I'm gonna post melts soon. I've been also asked a lot which macro I use for, the, for crafting the mats, the sand and the sap for the new gear. It's just normal 3 star macro. I use Ozzy's macro since I'm no longer alchemist specialist since you need to, since you don't need specialist anymore in this patch. I changed it to goldsmith. So I've been just using Ozzy's macro, non specialist 3 star for those, which I'll link in the video description. It's also in the macro document. This is what I'm using. I will be posting more macros as well. The Alamegan gear also tuned down in they tuned the, tuned it out in difficulty. Some report that normal two star macro works, but I'll be making new macros for those as well. Another frequently asked question is about raiding. If the people are asking if I'm gonna do ultimate or if I'm gonna go back into savage. I actually did have a static for a few weeks and I got to Kefka Savage and this static out of nowhere just decided to disband so I've been discouraged for finding a new static and I used to be a hardcore raider back in Heaven's Ward as well I even competed server server competition for who clears the raid first back in my the savage and my group be was the first group that cleared it in the server it was like three or four groups competing if i remember correctly so i had do have great raiding accomplishment as well believe it or not but i i love raiding in this game but i love crafting way more but since crafting have become so much easier this patch I might look back into finding a new static and raid again. I also cleared second coil savage when no one else even dared to try it. Back in Realm Reborn. When it was actually relevant, not like now anyone can clear it in Unsync. I'm glad I'm glad you can't unsync ultimate because that was really pointless that they made second coil savage unsinkable so i'm glad they're not doing that with the ultimate raids now and i'm looking forward to even if i don't do the raid myself maybe i will i'm still looking forward to watching other streamers do it like xeno mr happy and arthurs actually arthurs is my favorite Raid streamer of the game. I watch him the, the most. Maybe also because he streams at the times I can watch. Mostly. So I'm really looking forward to the ultimate raid. Even if I don't do it myself. I might look into finding a new static as well. And in my opinion, even though not a lot of people do the ultimate raids. It's really healthy for the game because... If you guys were watch or were watching on Twitch when Ultimate Coil came out, the game 
got so much traffic it was insane because of ultimate so it's real I think it's a really good thing for the game even if a lot of people don't participate in it which which also makes me a wish that crafting also got an ultimate side of difficulty one thing I would have loved is if they made glamour look better or housing item look better if it was HQ and they made it really really difficult to HQ this way they would give crafters uh, hard content as well or if HQ would be diable and NQ would not be diable when it comes to furniture and glamour pieces that that I always wished for another question that gets asked a lot is which three decent are the best? Currently, in patch 4.3, I would say Weaver, Leatherworker, and Goldsmith. Blacksmith can be good as well. You should always assume Weaver will be the best, because some of the Weaver mats are really, really, really annoying to get. For example, Worsted Yarn needs two different drops from enemies and these enemies have such a low chance dropping them it's really annoying to get so having weaver decent you can buy cheap belts and decent the belts to get the expensive materials for example step search you can do that same thing with leather worker the gazelle skin belts for example for gazelle leather this used to be huge especially at the beginning of stormblood it still is now, it's still actually profitable to do it if you need gazelle leathers and step surges. So you just get go to the vendor and trade craft gear or field craft gear in leather worker's case. Just buy the belts and decent them. Same for same thing for the other belts if you need a specific material. Decent makes life easier when it comes to things like this. Not to mention all of the other gear you get from dungeons that you can descend into getting materials and making gear that way. So always go for weaver. I have decent leveling up guides so be sure to check them out for the classes that you want to level. I have all decent guides for all classes ex uh, except for culinarian and alchemist. An armorer actually because those three are used the least I haven't seen it I haven't I don't think those three are worth leveling at all there is nothing too much coming from them but if they become relevant I'll probably make guides for them as well Also, the question which specialists are the best, uh, and then I would say it's not a big deal. Special, they make specialists so irrelevant, it's not even funny. Like, all you get is couple abilities which you can live without, to be honest, because you can just use more HQ mats and avoid needing those specialist abilities anyway. So, it's not a big deal. And plus you can change specialist three times a week now. You can buy a soul of crafter for 480 scripts, red scripts. And once you get your soul of crafter you can came, come back to the specialist NPC in Ishgard and ask to soul of crafter exchange and change your specialist. You can do that three times a week, so you can use, for example, we leather worker specialist for three days. Spend three days on crafting the things you want on leather worker, and then just change it for another class that you want to craft stuff on. And by the time you craft all of the stuff you need from that class as well, then next week comes and you can 
change it again and so on so it's not a big deal really or if you're like me having one one more character on the same server and having six specialists instead of three that also works so I just wanted to share some of my answers to some of the frequently asked questions if you guys have questions feel free to leave it in the comments I will make another video eventually answering more of more questions if I get them a lot. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye bye.